I do think you're one of these investments you're going to look back on and say, wow, Pluto went to the moon. Thank you so much for the offer, Robert. But I think 19, 20% is just a little bit too much. I, I can't get there. All right. So I know you remember uh, Pluto Pillow from Shark Tank season 12, right? Okay. So <clears throat> this is their website, PlutoPillow.com. All right. Welcome to the first episode or edition of Reviving Dead Shark Rejects, where we take um, Shark Tank applicants or contestants that's been on the show that did not accept the offer or got rejected them themselves and we bring them to profitability okay so since the inception of that show pluto pillow has many competitors that sprouted out of nowhere okay so at the at the beginning when they first went on there they didn't have that many competitors but now they do <clears throat> so in this video we're going to show how they can wipe out the competitors and reclaim the dominance that they were so confident about on the show they have a very unique uh product and i believe that if they were able to wipe out their competitors they will still be able to take market share i'm pretty sure they're still doing good but if you're going to turn down the sharks then you definitely have to own full market share and beat out the competitors. So the first competitor is Cosmo Pillow. All right, Cosmo Pillow is right here. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, let me see where else. Bed gear, you can get it on there. The second competitor is Layer Pillow. Okay, and a lot of these don't even have their own damn site. Okay, so we got, okay. <clears throat> the, the third competitor is Saybrook Pillow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, at least they got their own site, saybrooksleep.com. And last but not least, we have Sutera, Sutera Pillow. And sleepsutera.com is their website okay so um, this is not going to be an analysis of their sites and all of that extra stuff the whole goal is to bring pluto pillow the market share bring them way more customers to their website <clears throat> versus their competitors and we're going to do that we're going to achieve that through something called brand jacking so brand jacking is the art of showing up for someone else's brand name so if your website can show up or uh, if their web we can get their website to show up for cosmo pillow let me see this is a formula. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, so what we need to do is we need to get Pluto Pillow to show up right up in here when people search for a Cosmo Pillow. What is that going to do? Well, they have a similar pillow to them, the same technology and everything. So if they're showing up for their competitor's name, that does a couple things. That that uh, allows them to leverage the traffic from people that already know what they want and search them by name. And it creates credibility and authority because if you're showing up and drowning out your competitor for their own brand, it looks you it makes you look 10 times more powerful than them. So the same thing is going to happen over here with Layer Pillow, okay? They want to show up right in here the same way Amazon is showing up right here. Uh, Pluto Pillow needs to show up right here, okay? So with all these things achieved, and remember on the show, uh, it was season 12, let me see, season 12, episode 24. So they wanted 4,000K for 5%, but they turned that down. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Robert didn't want to do that deal, man. So they turned Robert down, so they walked away without a deal. If you want to walk away with all that confidence, you have to have a good plan. And this is the best plan for them. People Google these companies by name, okay? They can run Facebook ads and target athletes as well. They can target older people as well. People, uh, they can even uh, get a contract with uh, with hospitals, dealing with people that are uh, in comas for long periods of time and all of that stuff. So it's the endless possibilities, man. So <clears throat> if you guys want to see this campaign place for um, Pluto Pillow, I want you to comment campaign in the comments. Put campaign in the comments so we can reach out to them and see if we can get this going for them. So this has been the first episode of Reviving Dead Rejects. <laughs> Reviving Dead Shark Tank Rejects.